He got you too, huh? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, we go 50-50. I can't think of a better cause, yeah. How you doing? Very good. How well, are you doing? I saw you last night. You were really enjoying Queen. Like, everybody was pretty calm, and then you were right there. I mean, I mean, Brian May, in front of your eyes, playing We Will Rock You. What's wrong with that? You have no, to stand nothing down wrong with that at all. <laughs> and show some respect to that. You love uh, rock and roll? You're I love it? rock yeah. and roll. I mean, look at my Katy face. Perry? I'm not much into classic. Is Katy Perry uh, someone that you know? Well, I met her in the Zoolander 2 set. Oh. Because Perry was working there. Was in my there, yeah. son was six years old, and then she became his firework. Oh, really? He was like... Like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was... and is he still into Katie or has he moved on to Spider Man? No, she's more into Metallica now. Metallica? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You guys are hardcore. You're not Yeah, you should see there. how, how is the breakfast at home. He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, I mentioned uh, your Oscar. What was that like 10 years ago you won the Oscar? Uh, 11 right? years ago. 11 years ago. Wow. What do you, what, when you think about that night, what really, what do you remember most about that? 17 night? Spaniards that I brought. I don't know how. I was able to bring them all in into the show. Well, my great friend and agent, uh, Elise Schertz, uh, helped me with that. Wow. And then I don't remember anything but the <laughs> after party, <laughs> where we were, uh, I ended up on a top of a table doing the impersonation of Big Jagger singing Sympathy for the Devil. Oh. Go! <laughs> So many hidden talents I didn't know about. Wow, that's something else. With no one drop of alcohol now. No. That is something. You don't you don't need alcohol. No. <laughs> I need a psychiatrist home. Yeah, maybe oh. so. <laughs> By the way, speaking of a psychiatrist, you did something kind of crazy. So put the picture up on here because this is this you went with Greenpeace, yes. Yes. which is a great organization. And, and now we see a couple of submarines up there, right? Yes. You went down to the bottom. With John, which is a marine biologist. Uh huh. And Greenpeace was doing uh, research of the seafloor, pushing for uh, conservation of marine resources. Mm -hmm. We went down 600 meters. I don't know how much is that in feet. Uh, me neither. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and uh, it was two hours in the submarine where I was like this. I'm not claustrophobic, thank God. Yeah. And I fall asleep. You, oh, you fell asleep in there? <laughs> yeah. Really? I, but it was so nice. It was so warm. It was so beautiful. It was so dark that I fell asleep. Did you and miss... And then the guy was like, hey, this oh, is yeah. an expedition. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a scientific expedition. Okay. <laughs> Did you see anything interesting down there? I saw a guy. I saw a person who was... No. I saw, <laughs> I saw, a, I saw a transparent snake with... A, uh, with feet and black eyes. Really? Like something like James Cameron movie. Yeah. A snake with feet? Yeah, yeah, it was, I don't know, it was weird. Yeah. Or maybe I was dreaming, I don't know. And he didn't tell you what that was, huh? <laughs> no, but they found new species that is gonna make a difference on that conservation program. I'd Hopefully. love to see an invisible snake with feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was something. <laughs> your movie, everybody knows, you're made with your wife, Penelope yes. Cruz. This is such an interesting thing, and it's, it's a thriller that you would make this with an Iranian director, Iranian writer, yes. who does not speak Spanish. Not a word. And then he will come to you, and he will speak in Farsi. Uh, excuse my Farsi. He will go, and then the translator will say, he says that you're lying. He doesn't believe a word you're saying. Your eyes are empty. I go, oh, wow, did, you, did he really say that? So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, that was the direction he will give you. But he had an amazing radar to know when you were lying or when you're not. So wow. he's a great director. He knew exactly when things were organic or were not. That is so impressive to yes. me that someone would set out to make a movie that is not in their native tongue. Exactly. Because even well, people who you know speak Spanish, they speak English, and you see things that go like, oh, that doesn't sound exactly right. Mm -hmm. And the idea that he would, I guess, does he trust his translator to know or he just <laughs> trusts his actors to well, know that I it's right? He was listening all the dialogues in Spanish the day before. Mm -hmm. So phonetically speaking, he knew more or less what we were saying. 
Wow. But then we will go the day after and we'll change everything by improvising. Uh -huh. So it was, it, was, uh, it was hard for him. Asghar yeah. Farhadi is his name. Yes, he's won a couple of Oscars, Asghar right? Asghar Farhadi. Farhadi. Yes. Yes, yes. Farhadi, yeah. That's a he, common name, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Farhadi. Hey, Farhadi, yeah. how are you doing? <laughs> um, and um, he won two Oscars, and uh, this movie is called Everybody Knows. It's opening now wide. And it is about an abduction. Exactly. Can you say, uh, can you yeah, tell us Yeah, the movie is about uh, Penelope Play, uh, a woman that comes to the village where she grew, and um, her daughter is kidnapped, and that is only an excuse to see the relationship between her and all the people in that village that are hiding a lot of secrets. Mm -hmm. One of them is me, of course. You are hiding secrets, yes, yes. Who would, who would say, right? Did you enjoy, is it great to work with your wife because it's almost like having a regular job? Yes, it's, I know we were shooting like 20 minutes from home. Nice. It was the, the first time that I felt that we felt that we were having a normal job. Yeah. When you wake up, you feed the kids, you play a little Metallica. Exactly, you play a little Metallica <laughs> with the cereals. <laughs> then you do a job and you come back home and you put them to sleep. Like normal people. Rather yeah. than going to different places and uh, being, uh, yeah, being dressed away. like a pirate, for example. Dressed like a pirate exactly. away from your children. Yes, exactly. it, all sound, it all looks like fun at the Oscars, but <laughs> when you, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, you're dressed like a pirate away from your children. It's not so much fun. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you for uh, Thank coming you by. Much. And please tell Penelope I said hello as well. I will. That's the great Javier Bardem, everybody. His movie's called Everybody Knows. It is in theaters now. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.